Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you my development setup on Windows. Um, using Windows right now because my school doesn't let me use any other OS. I did do a good arch sometime. I just didn't like always switching the OS when needing some app that just works on Windows like Piece of Creator or something mostly technical. So that's why I made my windows just like Linux with Hyperland, kind of like shell like on macOS or on Linux. So yeah, I'm going to show you my setup. Um, I'll be covering Nirvim, which is my text editor, Tmux, LazyGit, Yazi, my WSL and the terminal setup for that and my window manager it's como rabbit on windows it's sort of like hyperland but it works perfect on windows for me so uh, let's get started so let's start with the terminal setup so now let's open the terminal as you can see um on arch right now as my WSL because NeoVim didn't really work on the Windows PowerShell or CMD and I like the way it worked on my dual boot so that's why I'm using Arch WSL I put a link in the description of uh, Doku how to get the Arch WSL and yeah I'm using Starship. I'm using Starship for my CSH and Yazi for files. Um, I go over the configuration in a separate video, but yeah, I use LazyGit, Nirvim, Tmax, and Yazi. I do also in Nirvim have Pirate installed. I mostly use python so for example when I do print it has pyrite I'm mostly in tmux so that's what my tmux looks like it's just a blank bar on the top I do also have some custom bindings which go perfect with my custom keyboard so yeah I can give you guys a tour on how my how I set up my keyboard with while so I can open that right now I do love how this keyboard works because on the layer one which you can press on the bottom right of the thumb cursor I have my most essential Vim key bindings so so let's go into some code I've already written, like right check. It's on my GitHub if anyone wonders. And yeah, it's the most important key bindings, for example, get to the end of a line, beginning, jump to the to the and yeah, it's just very accessible it's made it very easy for me to start using NeoVim I've tried the NeoVim extension in VS Code already but I do like how I can use Yazi and all the things in the CLI to code um, I also love using LazyGit I've used GitHub Desktop for some time I still like it, but since I'm already in the terminal with Tmux, I do like LazyGit. For example, if I go here into the folder and you see on Starship, it has my own main branch so that I'm in a Git repository. But if I open LazyGit, you can jump between everything and yeah, I love how it works. I can see what changed, and it's just very fast to pull and to push, commit everything. I really like it. 
what I did have to do is I had to store the credentials so I don't always have to put my access token in because I can't link my GitHub account like in GitHub desktop. That was the only problem I had with it. So now my credentials are stored uh, as clear text right now, but I'm working on it. For the terminal setup in the settings, I've made the default profile arch. And so in the default properties under appearance, uh, make sure you use a nerd font. So yeah, I see and everything works well. I've also made it a bit see-through. Just put down the opacity. I think it looks very nice. And yeah, that's my terminal setup. And let's go on to my tiling window manager. It works just like on Hyperland with the workspaces and everything. And with the window focus, I can jump around the workspaces, close and everything just like normal. But it's on Windows and the top bar is optional. I think it doesn't look very good. So I just do not even start it. I just use the padding window manager. There are, these are the basics or are the basic commands with alt I, you can open that. But the uh, thing on the default config, the windows are very far apart. So you just have to go into a mount, see for, in my case, users, user, and then under comorevi.json on the top, change the workspace padding to something lower. I have set mine to five and I also set the workspaces all to BSP. That's like on Arch. You could make it like, so it's all vertical split or all horizontal split, but BSP is the one where it has first vertical, then horizontal on one side. And I think it's the most practical. So yeah, that's my comma ready. I'll put the GitHub link in the description as well. Yeah, so that's my development setup on Windows. I'm looking forward to switching to Mac OS in the future because I just love how the clean interface and the good working terminal works together. And I've had many problems with Windows, so yeah, but I can't switch right now because my school just doesn't really let me. And yeah, that's my setup. I'll make some videos in the future about the uh, tools I use, like Nirvim or Tmux or Yazi, and maybe publish my dot files for the WSL. Yeah. My only problem right now is that my WSL is not really the fastest with Nirvim. That was pretty nice on my Arch tool boot because it was just so instant. Now it just has to load a bit, but when I'm in Nirvim, it's working pretty well. And I'm pretty happy with it with my setup right now. It's pretty good that I can export the WSL like a backup and it only has around two gigs right now. So it doesn't really matter what, which machine I use it because I can just export it and import it if I change something. Yeah. And thank you for watching. I hope I make more videos in the future and hope you enjoyed it.